So the first question comes from my buddy named Pat. Hello, my name is Pat. Uh, the students I work with call me the greatest. Now that my brother is officially my beneficiary, will he be able to collect my pension if I pass away before I'm done working? Thank you so much and have a great day. I so love Pat. Pat. I love his hair. Pat's great the best. Hair, great beard. <laughs> Pat used to wrestle. Cool like guy. Greco-Roman or like the fun No, like, like the fun wrestling. Like, awesome. like I'm, the, I'm the Undertaker, that sort of thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but to answer his question, um, so in most states, um, once he's vested in this pension program, I think I had to teach for four or five years to be, be a BSA employee for like some period of time to get vested in the retirement system. And then it would pass to his beneficiary. At least the vested amount um, would still pass through the estate. But it's unlikely that a sibling would be able to kind of get the monthly payments as if he had done the teaching career himself. I think most states would restrict that to the spouse. I don't think I understand how pensions work. So I was wondering if I could bug you about so, that. Oh, yeah. So... This is a ruin it. We don't have a pension. No, <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> no, so, I know. Very don't, don't few <laughs> pensions now are are almost done. But like, teacher, like they don't do them anymore. Yeah. But for teachers, the most part. unlike everyone else, they do have a pension plan. Um, the fun thing for teachers is is that t the matter of your payout at the end is tied to your usually at the last three years or so of, of your, your income. income. Whatever yeah. your highest pay is. Yeah, so the fun thing, a lot of times you'll see a teacher go 17 years as a teacher, then jump up to admin to get a raise. Yeah. And yeah. Do that and for three retire. years and peace out. Yep. When I was in Mississippi, a lot of times people would teach 20 years. I started teaching when I was 22. So I could have taught 20 years when you max out the pay scale, retire, move across the state line, teach... The 20 years there then called a career and get two pensions which mm -hmm. you are allowed to do wow you, yeah. you, you have enough time to get vested twice let's say pat i love pat but let's say he gets in a terrible wrestling accident and he passes away i love pat pat never pass away i love you dude <laughs> <laughs> but um so cool so now he's paid into let's say he works for 30 years and then something terrible happens yeah um he's paid into this system for 30 years does his brother get Pat's pension. Oh, yeah. So typically what will happen, so the pension itself depends on when he dies, but there is a cash component in most, in many states of it. Like when I was a teacher, I quit teaching. I bought a house. I withdrew all the money I contributed to my pension um, and used it for my down payment. Cool. Okay. So, so that segment of it is often withdrawable for the beneficiaries of the estate, but the actual retiree payments usually aren't. But if Pat got married his spouse could in many states receive the actual payments as working but there's probably going to be a cash component to it that um his brother would be able to claim <laughs> to answer to answer pat's question though he could make a will or a trust though yeah. that involves so, this in so some way he could do that um okay. but if he leaves it as it is his brother would probably get some sort of cash amount sweet right. as a former teacher um i know that even in the best of times teaching can be very stressful and so right now with the pandemic, we want to make sure that all the teachers who listen to us have access to the estate planning documents that they need to feel safe. And so uh, we're going to work with you to find a price point that works for you. Um, we are trying to help as many teachers as possible, especially in the Atlanta area. And so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about wills, trusts, or estate planning, post a comment. We would love to help you. Um, we don't just offer wills and trusts, though. We offer a lot of other stuff. James, you want to talk about it? Yeah, like Noah said, it's, it's more than just wills. We also do things like advanced health care directives, HIPAA waivers for your loved ones, and, and other things that you can do as far as power of attorney to make sure that if something does happen, um, people are going to be able to help you out. So if you're not sure if it's something that we can help you with, give us a call or reach out. Uh, we really want to help, and we'll do our best to do what we can. Sounds great, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you know any teachers that you think could benefit from this, uh, post their, tag them in the comments. That'd be fantastic. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.